Hello and welcome to In Your Pool's How To Guide section. In this video, we will help you determine what size pump is required for your pool. There is a tendency for pool owners to buy pumps that are bigger than necessary. This leads to higher operation costs and overpowering of filter systems. As a general rule, you should have a pump that filters all water in your pool within an 8 hour period. This guide will show you how to select a pump that does just that. Step 1. Determine the number of gallons of water in your pool. The formulas for calculating gallons depend on the shape of your pool. Click on the link in this video to view detailed information on pool calculations and for access to an easy to use gallons of water calculator. Step 2. Calculate how many gallons per hour you will need to pump in order to clean all the pool water in 8 hours. To determine this flow rate, simply divide your calculated gallons by 8. Step 3. Convert gallons per hour to gallons per minute. Most pool pump specifications are expressed in gallons per minute. Divide your previously calculated gallons per hour by 60 to determine gallons per minute. Step 4. Calculate the average feet of head for your pool pump. A good estimate is to take the average run of pipe from your pool skimmer and main drain to your pump's installation point. Here is an example of how the average feet of head would be calculated for a pool with three suction lines. First, calculate the length of each individual suction line. Add the three links together to find the total feet and divide by 3 to get your average. Step 5. Select a pool pump. You should now have the required information for selecting the proper size pump for your pool. Go to the description page for your preferred pump model. Many pump manufacturers will provide a chart on this description page showing the horsepower required for your particular gallons per minute and foot of head calculations. Please note, the size of your pool filter is directly related to the pool pump you select. If your pool filter is too small for the pump, there will be additional strain on the pump motor as it tries to push water through and meets resistance at the filter. This will eventually burn out the pump motor and your filtration will be compromised. We recommend oversizing the filter to be absolutely certain it can handle the flow coming from the pump. Most pool filters will have a tank label indicating maximum flow. So make sure your pump flow rating does not exceed the maximum flow rating of your filter. For example, if your pump outputs 100 gallons per minute, you would not want to pair a filter with a max flow rating of 50 gallons per minute. One last item to check when sizing a pool pump is your plumbing size on the suction side of the pump. The size of your plumbing may limit how large you can go on the horsepower of your pump, as smaller plumbing has lower max flow rates. Here are the flow rates of the most common pool plumbing sizes. For example, if you have a 2 horsepower pump outputting 100 gallons per minute and you have 1.5 inch pipe, you will only be able to physically get 60 gallons per minute through 1.5 inch pipe. You'll also run the risk of not supplying enough water to the pump causing it to run hot. In this scenario, we would suggest sizing a pump not to exceed 60 gallons per minute or upgrade your plumbing to two or two and a half inch. If you do decide to upgrade your plumbing and cannot access plumbing underground, then you will get some benefit by just replacing the pipe going into the suction port with a minimum of 12 inch of straight pipe. This acts as a reservoir to supply more water to your pump. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to call us toll free at 877-372-6038 or visit us online at www.inyopools.com.